and easy. Hey? Well, I'd like to do that for you. Just one thing. Somehow I never, ever thing to do. Now you just see because I... Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, that was contestant number 42, Tiffany Bonet, sponsored by Pageant Enterprises of North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 31, Ms. Cody Collins. Would you give us a biography on your side? Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm contestant 31. My name is David Lohman. My stage name is Cody Collins. I'm from the wild and wonderful state of West Virginia, and yes, to clear up one nasty rumor, we do wear shoes. If I could tell you two things about myself, I think they would be that I was a dreamer. I had a dream four years ago on this very stage, I entered the Miss Gay America pageant. Really fresh and new at the whole business, I placed next to last, <sighs> but I didn't really give up. I knew what I wanted, 
and I've worked at it. A lot of hard work, a lot of long nights in West Virginia, and a dream is coming true tonight. The second thing, to make my dream come true, I realized I needed all the help I could get with wonderful friends to stand behind me, a wonderful promoter, and I just said no. In closing, if any one of you have a dream, never let it go, because dreams do come true. They're coming true for me tonight. Thank you, Dallas. Contestant number 31, Miss Cody Collins. Cody Collins. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, please welcome contestant number 44 in talent competition, Charity Case.
Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, contestant number 44, Charity Case. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 33, Miss Valerie Lohr. Valerie Lohr. Thank you, Lady Baronessa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna give you a little brief biography of myself. And the best place to start is at the very beginning. And it all started on November the 30th, 196, uh, November the 30th, 1960. So that makes me 29 years old. I was born in Fort Worth, Texas, a town not too far from here, also known as Cowtown, USA, where I grew up most of my life. Yeah, I lived here for Fort Worth. I had a wonderful childhood in Fort Worth, but I knew immediately that I marched to the beat of a different drum. And my parents knew that they were gonna have problems when they found me putting Barbie doll dresses on my G.I. Joe. So, I went on and graduated from Amon G. Carter Riverside High School in Fort Worth and then went on to college at North Texas State University where I, <laughs> all right, Eagle, where I received a degree in, in the field of marketing. It was my senior year at North Texas that one Halloween I decided to dress up as a fairy princess. Well, trick or treat, here I am. Little did I know that that dressing up that Halloween would lead to something as fabulous that's led me to here on this stage this evening. I created an illusion by the name of Valerie Lohr who's opened many doors for me and has shown me that female impersonation is a fabulous art form and a fabulous form of entertainment, not only to the straight community, but I mean gay community, but, just, but the straight community as well. Because I recently spent 14 weeks in Reno, Nevada, where I did work for a straight audience, and it was fabulous, and they loved us just as much as y'all do. I live here in Dallas, Texas now. Thank you. I live here in Dallas, Texas now. I've lived here for about eight years now. I share my life with someone very special to me, He's the man behind the woman behind the man. It gets kind of confusing at times. And his name's Mr. John Mendez. And we live in Oak Cliff. We have a little house, our dog Pickles, and we couldn't be any happier. <laughs> we couldn't be any happier. <laughs> Thank you. But the key I want you to say, no matter how far you go in life, as long as you're happy, you are a success. And this evening, I feel like a terrific success. And I'd like to thank you all for making a lot of my dreams come true. Thanks a lot. Contestant number 33, Miss Valerie Lohr. Hello. It's getting better. Shh. Trying to get me in trouble. I'm just looking. Don't do that. Do you want to get me fired? Now that voice sounded like Naomi Sims to me. That's a vicious plot to get rid of me. Excuse me? I know, do you hear? I didn't mention the word myself. I signed with this pen. Excuse me, darling? Does it work? What word? The P word, chicken. <laughs> Thank you. You know, one place I haven't been able to get to while I've been staying here in Dallas for the last week is one of my favorite little places, next to the Village Station, of course, um, is the Roundup. <laughs> oh, the Roundup just rounds me up, baby. One of the last, I think last year when I was here for Miss Gay America, they asked me to host some contests there when they were at the old place, which burned down. And it was different because I'm used to performing in clubs with, that have big stages and sound systems and just doing, this place was a little bitty country place and these people love the show just as much. But the second week when I came in and performed with my illusion of divine, I think I scared the hell out of them. <laughs> 